Hi guys, welcome to part two of my journey after spine surgery. Thank you for tuning in. So in this video, I'm gonna take you through the rehab uh, process that I went through after staying about a week in hospital straight after my surgery. So the first week, uh, we were kept in hospital. The main reason for that was to ensure that the vital stats are all good, that the pain management is under control, that you know I'm able to sit and stand on my own. So that was the main goal. The first week basically was designed that I can rest as much as possible. There's immense inflammation after the operation and the idea was that I can kind of get self-mobile initially to be able to sit and stand so that I can then transition to go to the rehab by myself when I need to walk and you know I'm staying in the hotel alone and things like that so after the first week I was really feeling good as you saw I was able to walk up and down steps as well and sit and stand by myself and that was already unbelievable I mean to consider that you know I went through such a major operation of double disc replacement in my spine that within 24 hours first I was able to stand up and take my first steps and then you know within a week I was able to sit and stand and walk around it was it just was just amazing for me to, to go through that the the next stage of this whole uh, process with the ONZ organization was to be transported to the Marriott Hotel uh, which was which is basically connected to the Medicos Rehab Center. Now the Medicos Rehab Center apparently is one of the biggest rehab centers in Germany if not the whole of Europe and when I first walked in there I was just amazed as to the facilities, the organization, the structure that they put us through and just you know I guess the whole thing is so well designed that everything is taken out of your hands and I used to be given this uh, sheet of paper every day and that was my routine for the day so from the time I woke up I knew exactly what I was doing every hour where I was going to be which treatment I was going to get and where my rest periods were when I could go back to the hotel and get some sleep all of this was kind of pre-designed and the days that the routine was a little bit intense they gave us more rest you know so it was just amazing now uh, the treatments that we went through there was such a big variety I mean there was things like lymphatic drainage where you know there was somebody just assisting you to kind of drain the inflammation from where the wound is where the, where the incision of the operation was and uh, physiotherapy massage therapy organizational rehab therapy and obviously my favorite sessions were in the gym and you know where I was able to kind of push and test and stretch and and just feel my muscles again and get mobile again and and just be in that atmosphere where I was active again so I'm going to walk you through a few snip, uh, snippets of the training that I was doing and nothing too intense obviously but you'll get an idea of how mobile and how um, you know the ability to be able to even move around the gym and to bend and sit and stand was so unbelievable that you know just eight or nine days prior to that I was I just had spine surgery so and then it's just gotten on better and better since then uh, one of the most amazing things was that I was able to share this journey with a couple of other guys one of them was from Sydney his name is Fabian and another guy actually uh, his name is Joel and he's an amazing character and I you know we've become good friends now and he's actually from Auckland in New Zealand as well so we met there and uh, neither of us knew each other prior to actually meeting there and their fam both, both of them had their families with them and we kind of became like extended family because I was there by myself so it was amazing to have that support and that encouragement from them and all of us were going through the same uh, scenarios so we all you know if there was pain we were all sharing and talking and you know how you slept how did you sleep last night and what's the pain level at today and so it was just beautiful to, to be able to share that and uh, we also enjoyed eating our meals together every day so we used to kind of just text each other and you know meet for breakfast and so that support system I felt was really crucial and I also want to take this opportunity to give my thanks to them and um, you know they're all they're both doing really well now so we still keep in touch and 
So all three of us have, you know, have recovered really well and we're all in good health and doing well now. So um, as a part of this video also, I'm going to throw in uh, my last conversation with the spine surgeon, so Dr. Beersted, and the, the way he took his time to explain to me, you know, what are the pros and cons of moving and, and um, you know, moving back into daily routine and how I, my main concern was how fast can I get into uh, gym and health and fitness again and he kind of basically suggested that I just feel my way out you know the discs are titanium so they're solid and I just need to respect the magnitude of the surgery and and basically just take it easy you know and uh, so that's what this video is going to be about guys and after this I'm going to then uh, start putting through what my journey has been after I've come back to Auckland and you'll see the change from this video where my mobility has been fairly um, you know non-existent in many ways to now where you know I'm, I'm far more flexible and the strength levels are so much higher and just the journey and the progress to my own self sometimes is just you know all I can be is grateful for this whole ride so I hope you enjoy this video and um, thank you again for all those who've already sent me amazing messages and and the vote of confidence that I'm doing this uh, and I really appreciate that so thank you so much and also thank you for those who've, who've subscribed so guys here you will see my morning routine that's me leaving the room this is the hallway that I used to walk every day first thing in the morning and also make my way back in the afternoon get some rest and then head back to Medicos for the afternoon session it's just so convenient because it was just literally a five or seven minute walk and I was at my treatment for the for the day you know whether it was physiotherapy or the gym session it was such a great way to kind of just get there it was so convenient and uh, really helpful that it's so close by as you can see I used to choose to take the uh, steps rather than the elevator just because you know every movement anything that I was doing to um, have extra movement was just helping me more and more as you can see here now um, I think this was the very first gym session so the movements are really basic just trying to get some freedom in the arms and the upper back just to kind of get some mobility and um, you know just kind of freeing up all the inflamed muscles all the tight areas in the upper body the lower body as well was really tight because um, you kind of put this uh, double disc replacement you actually gain uh, two centimeters of height so the lower body basically gets stretched two centimeters so all those nerves and tendons and the muscles which have been at a certain height are now you know in a matter of a couple of hours in the operation now they're stretched by two centimeters so everything is stretched out and your ligaments and your tendons take a lot of time a few months to adjust to this new height so majority of my uh, pain at that time was also in the lower body so basically uh, my calves were super tight as you can see I'm stretching them here and this was something that I tried to do everywhere I found like a corner of a wall I used to try and put my foot in there and stretch my calves out because um, you know to be honest walking for a while was also painful so you know first a couple of weeks if I walked more than 10 minutes at a stretch the, the calves used to get really tight here you see me doing some work on the foam roller so again the weights are super light uh, but at that time they felt quite heavy so just the movements were really odd because the muscles were so tight and inflamed and uh, there was hardly any flexibility or mobility at the time so what was really nice is that the trainer there as you saw a bit ago um, his name is Mike and he they are they are just trained to kind of uh, help someone who's just been through this particular surgery so it's fantastic to have someone with that sort of knowledge guiding you uh, this is uh, where I started uh, kind of really enjoying the sessions when I got back on the machine so I love this and as you can see again Mike there helping me with the posture helping me with keeping everything sturdy and making sure that I'm just working the muscles in the back and um, you know not damaging anything else so one of the things I want to kind of also point out is everybody goes through this rehab at their own pace so there's no set set and fast rule that everybody has to do the same exercises depending on your current health what you've done in the past how strong your internal muscles already are 
will determine you know what level of uh, recovery you're doing and how fast your muscles are going to be able to recover so in my case i did a lot of work prior you know i've always like i mentioned in my previous video i've been in uh, an athlete for a long time and so that i feel played a big role in me being able to um, recover at a much faster pace stretching i feel was one of the most crucial and important parts of the recovery because everything in the lower body was so stiff and tight that, that the more you stretch the more uh, you know easier it gets especially the hamstrings area so this is here me just having some fun just trying to tell mike that there used to be a time where i could touch my nose to my knees and that's actually true when i was a lot younger and uh, as you see that is the maximum that i was able to stretch at that time but it's gotten a lot better since but again it's a, it's about having the motivation to do the work and you know just appreciate the magnitude of the surgery and take one day at a time and be grateful for every small improvement every small kind of uh, mobility that increases small things like when i was able to kind of just bend to you know uh, wear my socks and things like that was also such a great feeling that oh i'm coming back to normality you know things are getting normal again so the glutes and the hamstring was primarily where most of my pain was so that was uh, basically where the most stiffness was due to the surgery Today is Friday, the 11th of August. I've just come to meet Dr. Beersit for the final checkup. Um, the rehab's been going really well, and uh, we're just here to find out what he says about the final x rays. And I think they're going to make me do some mobility tests that I don't really know. I'm going to ask them if it's possible for me to film this, uh, just because I think it'll be really nice for me to have this so that I can look back at it as well and also you know make it a part of um, the entire uh, documentary as well i mean i feel good right now there's this few aches and pains different kinds uh, but you know it's it's part and parcel of what we've been through um, lately the last few days there's been a lot more pain down my calves my left calf in particular and i just think you know good massages good release will help that so we just wait for the doctor now and see what he says so this is just right from today yeah so <coughs> perfect you see goes artificial this cure in very very good position mm. feel the space pretty good place at the posterior border here and you see those are completely in midline yeah these are the clips from the vessels here if you want to know what it is yeah, okay. yeah. so the, that's the stapling the vessels yeah together. yeah okay that looks perfect i actually wanted to see the disc as well do you have one yeah this is this is a real one so it's very hard you cannot move it with your hand yeah. now don't wonder because the forces under your body are much more much more and uh, so this is exactly what's in my yeah you have an uh, yeah. You have the L size as well. I get a copy of the X-ray as well. You, you have it here. Oh, okay. It's in the paper. And uh, yeah, this is an uh, original one. Gorilla. It's fine. Just take a photo. Yep. Okay. Cool. So during this meeting, basically what was discussed is the aftercare. Once I get back home, I asked him when I could start going to the gym again. What are the do's and don'ts? And all he mentioned basically was, um, you know, I just have to feel it out. The discs are in there. They're, they're solid and they're going to kind of cope really well with the body and the muscles. So uh, there's nothing that is uh, restricted. Obviously, you have to take things slowly. Don't go under, you know, heavy squats and things like that, which is... Um, really common sense but overall the meeting was about you know just uh, being able to get in touch with them if needed again in future also getting in touch with Jake in Australia if needed and uh, just general chit chat about you know what sort of pains I was going through and everything is uh, everything was really uh, you know explained quite well and uh, I really didn't have too many questions at that point thank you so much you're more than welcome Just ask for some help to be able to lie down with this tube. Hello. Hello. 
can you just give me some help to uh, lie down? Mm -hmm. Just with the tube, hold, hold, holding the tube. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. She said okay and left the room. Hello? Hello? That was a... Uh, I think she just wants me to do it myself. <laughs> it's one way to motivate someone. Okay, and leave the room. If you would like for our spine specialists to evaluate your case, please visit www.spineconnection.org or click the link in the description below. A second opinion can make all the difference, and we are here to help.